so draw the top and front views of hexagonal lamina 30 mm sides having two of its edges parallel to both vertical and horizontal planes okay this is what the condition you have to satisfy and one of edges is 10 mm from each of the planes of projection okay that means we need to consider from that xy line so 10 mm on either side we need to consider a 10 mm here so the length we need to consider so first you need to draw xy line so you need to draw x y line first so draw an x y line here so draw v p h p x y <coughs> okay for a distance of 10 m 10 m means it is exactly one box distance so here we will draw an uh, locus line okay So locus line we need to draw at a height of 10 10 mm from each side so that is what the condition 10 mm from each of the planes of projection okay okay now we need to we can show the dimension on uh, both sides that is 10 mm the distance you can show okay so 10 by 10 okay now you have to construct a hexagon of dimension 30 okay by making sure it we has to be uh, resting with uh, one of its edges so we can see that that's what the condition having two of its edges parallel to both vertical and horizontal planes <coughs> okay using circle method i'll be constructing <coughs> a hexagon so by taking 30 mm from the scale using compass i'm drawing in circle here okay so for, I will take a vertical line here because we need to get the corner point on that uh, locus line okay now using compass already we have measured uh, 30 mm so we need to cut 6 arcs here on this circle to get the hexagon <coughs> with respect to edge here okay so we will be cutting the arc for 30 mm here so total 6 arcs we have to cut here So <clears throat> connect all these uh, lines with the straight line with the help of the scale. Okay, so you can show the dimension on one side. So it is having a dimension of. 30 mm okay dimension of 30 so erase the circle okay now we can give the naming for this okay can write down a b c d e f and project it upward till the x y line okay till that uh, 10 mm line in the front view because we need to get it uh, exactly on that uh, 10 mm line here okay okay you can mark it now visible edges b dash c dash and e dash and a dash F dash and E dash within brackets. So now we have to incline this uh, for an angle of 60 degree. So I'm taking a reference of B dash A dash. So keep the <coughs> protractor here. So mark for angle 60 degree. 
mark for angle 60 degree so draw an angle line passing through that point now you take the compass so measure from B dash to D dash so cut the first arc second arc from B dash to C dash okay so cut the arc so you can mention the naming okay whatever it is there the same thing when you mention it so we will dark the length now so till that arc point we should dark it so project it downward project it downward to complete the second position top view and draw the projection lines here okay so we need to mark the name is here a b c d e and f okay so you can join all these uh, points now <coughs> so extra we will extend a little bit so that we can get all the points so you can join so that completes the second position top view so now we have to <coughs> place it on that uh, locus line with respect to BA okay first take a reference point of B so B from B to A you can measure it using compass measure that length <coughs> and cut the arc okay from B to A you can measure it and cut the arc So B to here. <coughs> now using uh, compass, you need to cut the arcs. Okay, A to F, A to F, and uh, B to C that are having the same length. So we can measure one arc length, and we can cut two arcs here. Okay. Now the reverse from A to C and B to F. So reverse, we need to cut it. okay so you can mention the naming here so that is b that is c and there is f again we need to cut the arc from f to e okay f to e and again okay, f to e and c to d now reverse it is from f to <coughs> d and then F to D reverse arc we need to cut okay so you can mention the naming now so that point is D and that's in that is E now you can join it using a scale you can join all these points okay Okay, now project it upward to complete the final position here okay <coughs> so now you can mention the naming for this <coughs> so you can horizontally also you can draw the projection lines so that is B dash A dash that is C dash F dash D dash and E dash so we can join or connect all these points to construct the final position
okay so that com completes the problem